of mine, you know, you know Ask me what I'm doing, just grinding Haters wanna hate, let them hate, never mind them Be more pins, tryna reach the next plateau And I can't stop till I achieve my goals Keep a couple feeds inside the photos So official with the vibe, you can pick up my zone Hold on for a minute, let me count mine, you know, you know good youtube it's your boy damian crier and i am back with another video i hope you guys are having a wonderful blessed and amazing day today if you have not subscribed to the crier family what are you waiting on man all you got to do is turn that bell on to subscribe to the channel but being subscribed only means you are subscribed in order to get the notifications every time i upload a video on the crier family you must turn on that bell with a vibrating symbol that way every time i upload a video on the crier family all of you guys will get the notifications so guys 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 today i am in one of the worst worst parts of texas houston texas i am at fifth ward this is the place where it goes down on the news every night shootings killings robberies everything but you know what man i wanted to come here today because they got this chicken joint called frenchy's chicken now i ate that frenchy's chicken before but it was not the frenchy chicken in the hood so i decided to come here today to fifth ward guys fifth ward you guys all know about fifth ward if you are from the houston area or texas area even if you don't live in houston you can live anywhere in the state of Texas. Everybody has heard of Fifth Ward. So I'm actually in the hood. And you know, I'm I'm like, you know what, man? I'm gonna go try that chicken. So I'm gonna show you what the outside of the building looks like, guys. I'm literally in the hood. You know why? Because I grew up in the hood, man. So them sisters up in there, man, can throw down. Now, how I found this particular Frenchies, one of my guys hit me up. He was like, dang, man, you ever been in Fifth Ward? I said, man, hell no, nah, I'm never going over to Fifth Ward. I know I know all about Fifth Ward. He was like, bro, if you ever go over there, man, check out the Frenchie's chicken in Fifth Ward. He said, I'm telling you, bro, you're going to eat your freaking fingers off. So you know what I did? I got up this morning. I said, you know what? I'm going to Fifth Ward. The hell would it? And I'm not even strapped up, man. I'm not even strapped up. And I'm by myself. I ain't got nobody with me. None of my homies with me. None of my kids with me, nothing. So I'm finna go in here, man, order me some French's chicken. And I don't know, it all depends on how many people was in there. Like, I don't really care. But if it's a table open for me to sit down and eat, your boy's gonna sit down and eat some Frenchies. And like I said, it ain't about who's in there. It's about if it's a table left for me to sit down and eat at. I'm gonna eat and I'm gonna vlog be smashing up some of this Frenchies chicken. So I'm finna bring you guys along with me, man. Pray for me, pray for me, pray for me. So without further ado, man, let's get up out this hot truck. <laughs> So that's their menu right there. It's good. But again, I ate French's chicken before, but I never ate this particular one. Everybody's season don't taste the same. And a lot of these people here that's cooking the chicken are older women, so that's what's gonna make this so different. I'm ready to smash. And plus I'm hungry, so I'm glad I saved my appetite. I'm not even for sure what all they got on the menu, but what I do know on the menu is chicken, chicken, chicken. And I know sisters know how to cook some chicken, especially the older ones. I'm always talking about cleaning the meat off, rinsing your meat off, changing your grease. Here, I believe it goes down up in here. So I'm really excited. The lady's looking at me like, why has he got that camera? So I'm gonna turn this off for a minute until I order my food and I will see you guys in a few seconds. So this is it guys, Frenchie's chicken. I end up getting three pieces, the thigh, um, a leg and a wing that actually came with fries. And it came with one of these crazy peppers right here, man. This looks like one of them hot ones. And I don't even know if I'm gonna eat that because I'm not ready to go back to the hospital. Guys, this lady behind the counter was so freaking rude. So I know I'm in the hood. I know I'm in the hood. She was talking crazy to me. So basically, she's a worker, right? She works at this restaurant. And so I had pulled my phone out. I didn't have my camera out then. I pulled my cell phone out. I wanted to take like a quick picture of myself for like a thumbnail. It was like me and then the uh, Frenchie sign. And so the lady had came out the door and she looked at me. She says, are you taking a picture of me? 
I said, ma'am, my camera is my like my phone camera was pointed at me. It was literally like I was taking a selfie like like this. And she was over there and she just came out. Are you taking a picture of me? I said, no, ma'am. I said, ma'am, I don't even know you. She says, I don't play that MF stuff. I said, ma'am, I don't even know you, ma'am. I'm taking a selfie of myself for a thumbnail. So she goes back behind the counter and just starts spazzing like, I don't play that MF stuff. And the girl that was working behind the counter was like, he's a vlogger. I know who he is. He wasn't look, pointing the camera at you. And she was just spazzing like, I don't give a fuck. I don't know him. I don't, the whole time, the woman still spazzing. And the people working in the restaurant with her was trying to tell her he was taking a picture of herself. So I don't know, maybe it's just that time of the month for her. But she was spazzing, bro, but anyway. As I was trying to show you guys in the restaurant, I got fries, three-piece chicken. They gave me a biscuit, but I accidentally put it in a bag and threw it away as I was coming out to my truck. The pepper on here, I don't think I'm gonna eat that because that looks like it's very hot. Oh yeah, this is not, yeah, this is a really hot jalapeno pepper. I do like jalapenos, but not that damn hot. So anyway. Oh my God. I'm definitely in the hood. Now, I'm gonna tell you guys something. Even though she a female and she was going off, normally I would've cussed her ass back out. I'm just gonna keep it a buck with you. Cause I feel like that she disrespected the hell out of me. But I decided not to. Cause everybody is entitled to a bad day. Whether it's a male, or a female. I don't go around just cussing women out. Even though you guys may have heard me spazzing on some old recordings from two or three years ago. But I do put people in check when they disrespect me. But I'm in Fifth Ward right now. I wasn't finna talk crazy to that chick. She looked like she done shot four or five hundred people, man. Look at this, man. Look, this is crazy. I'm literally trapped in this place. Thank God I didn't talk crazy. Look at this, man. Look at the traffic here, man. Look at all these cars. And I'm trapped. So imagine, so just imagine, guys, if I would've got into it with that chick, like an argument, and she would've pulled out on me, like pulled up a strap on me or something. I couldn't do anything, because I'd have been stuck here. This is Fifth Ward. Now, I don't know if, if you guys remember. About Fifth Ward. There was a big case happening like a few years ago. Where the police had killed this guy. But this is the uh, area where he's from. Um, Fifth Ward. This is like one of the most dangerous areas in Texas. Literally. Literally. But I wanted to come here and eat because, and I'm glad I did, because this is well worth it. This food right here is well worth it. I eat a lot of chicken, I do. But their chicken, I don't know what type of seasoning that they're using, I'm sure they're not gonna tell me the secret. But they got it going on. Even though the lady was rude to me in there, I'm still gonna get them a shout out, man. Shout out to Frenchy's Chicken and Fifth Ward. They got it going on. If you have not tried their chicken, man, you need to run over here right now. And you tell them Damien sent you. That's if you're not scared to come, come to the hood. Now, I grew up in the hood. And every time I go back home to Indiana, I go back where I'm from. I'm from the hood, I grew up. But my hood in Indiana wasn't nothing like the hood that I'm sitting in right now. Mm, mm, mm. They got it going on, man.
Mm. I'm about to go back in my truck out. <coughs> Still getting over that little cold, guys. Look at this. I know y'all heard that. This is a really, really rough area that I'm in right now. And I actually, when I leave here, I may actually ride around a few blocks just to show you guys, you know, like parts of the hood where I'm at. And this is why I say, guys, I'm one of the type of people, I don't want to live in fear, but I do pay attention to my surroundings. Like today, I, you know, I didn't come here accidentally. I didn't show up here accidentally. I came here on purpose because this is what I wanted to do today. You know, because I refuse to live in fear. Someone asked me, they said, <clears throat> like being a YouTuber, they said, how does it make you feel knowing that you made it on YouTube? Well, I'm gonna say this. All of us is actually, if you have a YouTube channel, you've actually made it on YouTube as well as I did. Don't let the numbers fool you because just because you have a million followers doesn't mean that you're gonna get a million views. You got some really big content creators out there. I know some content creators with like 15 million family members, subscribers. Out of 15 million subscribers, you know how many views they get? Like 120,000 views a video. Consistency is the whole entire key. When they ask me how do I feel knowing that I made it on YouTube, honestly, I still feel the same. I mean, I got 100,000 plaque on my wall. I make pretty decent money on YouTube. I'm able to make my own hours, get up when I want, film when I want, go to sleep when I want, wake up when I want. But it's not as sweet because even when you got high numbers on YouTube, you really, st you really still never made it. You know why? I'm gonna tell you why you still never fully made it. Because as long as you know that there's more out there to get, you don't want it. So if you, so let's just say this. <clears throat> if you make $10,000 a month on YouTube, and you know there's an opportunity to make $15,000 a month. You're gonna want that, you're gonna want it. If you make $15,000 a month, and there's an opportunity to make an, an additional $5,000 a month, which is $20,000 a month, you're gonna wanna go for it. And so on, so on, et cetera, et cetera. The more that you work, the more money that you make. So, I don't feel like I made it. I feel like I'm doing okay for myself. I feel like, you know, um, I pretty much feel like I did when I worked at my job in Indiana before I moved out here. The money's a lot different though. You know, I feel like if I didn't get up and go to work every day, I feel like I wouldn't get a paycheck. You know, and YouTube is like any other job. If you take a day off today, you don't get paid. But anyway, back to what I was saying about the hood. This is why I don't mind coming to the hood and having lunch. Now, what happened in there just a little while ago to me with that lady, one of the workers, she disrespected the crap out of me. I mean, literally, she just disrespected. I believe if I had a woman with me, my girl would have checked her. I just had to wait for my food, which thank God she didn't make my food. She was like working like the drive through window part of it. But if she had to make my food, I probably would have walked away. But I was watching very, very close of the lady who did make my food, so. But yeah, man, but um, anyway, I'm finna gritty get out the truck and throw this stuff away, man, because I'm not gonna finish the fries. I'm not gonna finish this pepper right here. Matter of fact, there's still a little meat left on this chicken. Mm -mm -mm. But uh, anyway, shut this off, guys, and um, clean this stuff out of my truck. I'm gonna see you guys in, oh, by the way, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I rate this chicken right here. And this is no cap. This is no lie. This is not force. This is some of the best chicken I've ever had. 
since I lived out here in Houston. This is the best chicken I've ever had. The problem is, this is a long way from my house. This is almost an hour away from my house. So I don't think I would drive out here all the time just for this chicken. But this chicken is some of the best chicken I've had since I've been out here. The best chicken I've ever had in my life. And for my Fort Wayne, Indiana people who's watching this video, Lee's on Rudisso Street. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The chicken gizzards. Nothing like it. Anyway, I'm going to end this part off and I'm going to see you guys when I get to the next area. So guys, I'm just now getting the hell out of Fifth Ward. When I left the restaurant, I actually, like I said earlier, I had to, I went inside the restaurant earlier with the um, intentions of sitting down and eating. But even like when that chick snapped on me like that, I did try to sit down after she tried to come for me. Um, but I tried to sit down, but it was like a really crowded space. It was an older couple sitting next to me eating and talking. So I ended up just going out to my truck and vlogging in my truck. While I was in my truck sitting there eating, you guys kept seeing me go like this. For some reason, she kept coming outside, looking over at me, and you can see that she was mumbling under her breath saying something. But honestly, the chicken was good. I love the chicken over there in Fifth Ward. But I will not be going back over there anytime soon. And it's not just because of the chicken. So when I left the restaurant, after I got done eating in my truck, I decided to go deeper into Fifth Ward, like trying to find a gas station. The closest gas station I pulled up was like 1.7 miles from where I was at the chicken place. So I get to the gas station as soon as I step out my truck. As soon as I step out my truck, this dude pulled up at the pump next, like, like in front of me. But the way he pulled in, he pulled in like he drove in because there was another pump. So I got out the truck because it almost seemed like he hit the truck. Because when he stopped, he kind of jerked like that and I seen him. So I got out the truck and looked at the front of my truck. This dude looked at me and you know what he said? He said, you got a problem, bro? You good? I looked at him, man. I'm like, you almost hit me. Would you ask me, am I good? Do I got a problem? First thing I was going to do was check him. But then I had to realize where I was. I said, bro, you in fifth ward. I ain't trying to be on the news tonight. So I'm just going to say this. I ain't no punk, man. I'm, I'm going to talk stuff now. I'm not no punk, bro. Whoever you is, I'm not a punk. I'm not a fifth ward no more so I can talk stuff. But I can honestly say, man, I'm never going back over there again. But the chicken was fire man but anyway i'm gonna end this off man uh if you guys haven't tried that man go try it if you see a lady in there man with a little ponytail she real short with some glasses on stay away from her because she will go off on you man but anyway i love you guys and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video